Yo guys, I'm going to show you how to do ball bouncing animation in After Effects, I think in the fastest way, only using position, scale and rotation animation. So let's jump into it. So open up After Effects, import our ball, I just downloaded it from Google, the simple PNG, drag it to the timeline, Actually, I'm going to resize the ball to be smaller and also I'm going to pre-comb the layer. So right click on the layer and pre-comb. Make sure move all attributes into the new composition that's ticked. You should rename the pre-comb to ball. So double click on the pre-comb and we're going to resize the composition the same size as like a ball so just resize the comp okay so my PNG looks like uh, a bit it's not a exact circle so I just extended the ball so make sure the four sides are the same So also I'm going to use anchor point tool or hit Y and just reposition the anchor point. If you hold command or control you can snap the anchor point to the bottom or, or to the middle. Also I'm going to do like a guide for the ground and I will use only position at the beginning to animate the ball so pretty much uh, just use position and also modify the path a little bit I'm going to animate the bounce back from the ground, go back to the ground, and go forward. So each bounce should be smaller in height and, and in length. The good thing is you can modify the, the positions of the ball anytime when you finish the animation you can modify it so it's pretty cool. So you don't need to be perfect at, at the beginning. Okay, and the last keyframe is going to be just a rolling, slowly rolling on the right side and stops. Okay, so use this tool, convert to vert vertex, and we're going to change the actual path like curvy path. And uh, just reposition the top. Okay, so we're going to see how it looks like with this simple linear keyframes. At the moment it just doesn't look really good, but basically just we set the position. So we're going to select the top keyframes for each um, curve there, so just only the top ones hit F9 so we're going to use easy A's for that um, keyframes and hit graph editor so this is a graph editor so we're going to extend these two arms so basically we're going to slow down the animation on the tip as you can see it slows down on the top almost stops 
and make sure you use edit speed graph so we're going to raise or lift t these t keyframes a reason for that because as you can see uh, the original position is um, close to zero that stops from to stop but if you push it up it's going to just slow down but won't, not going to stop I'm going to change the timing a little bit as you can play with the timing and also I'm going to easy ease with F9 the last keyframe just check the animation and also if you select all of the keyframes hold alt and you can grab the last keyframe and you can um, speed up the keyframes animation or slow them down which is a very good feature so the last keyframe when we stop we're going to go inside and going to use rotation animation only for the rolling so we're going to use one keyframe for the end and drag it put it to the first keyframe and just do a rotation roughly to the end and hit F9 for the last keyframe so we need to check the animation it's getting better Now we're going to play with timing and try to make the animation smoother. I'm going to use more rotation. It looks much better. Okay, should be fine. So let's check the animation. It's pretty good. So with the, in a graph editor, I'm going to adjust the, the almost the last keyframe to be more smoother. Okay, so we're going to use scale for a little bit more nicer squash animation for the ball when it hits the ground it should go like more flat more fat on the sides and, and more shorter so you can use basically the bonding box or you can use the scale I'm going to use like 87 90 and just copy the first keyframe for the scale and as you can see it just when it hit the ground it just it changes his shape so we're going to apply this for the rest when it hits the ground and that was the reason when we put basically the anchor point on the button so we can make this squash and stretch animation for the ball so I'm going to change the, the scale here because the forces here is not too strong okay so check the animation it helps a lot this push scale animation helps a lot when it hits the ground I'm just playing with the scale it's 
looking pretty good. So now I'm going to change the position of the ball because I think it should go further in distance. So the cool thing is you can modify the positions anytime. So basically I'm going to select the keyframes and hold shift and unselect one and just shift them. So just hold shift and unselect the keyframe and you can modify the part uh, the keyframes which is really cool. Yeah, it's go further, which is a lot smoother for the eyes. So here we go, guys. This is how to animate ball in After Effects. Also, I would like to point for the key things in ball animation. As you can see at the top, it's getting more keyframes and the ball is slows down. So it's very important and accelerates again. So at the top, more keyframes lower the animation when on the ground when the ball hits the ground it's faster so less keyframes so keep in mind you can play with the dynamics in a graph editor and use f9 to smooth your animation hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like and please subscribe for more videos like this until then see you guys next time